Okay, I am right by Point Plaza. Oh, hey, y'all, it's uh, Diana Genta, your wastelander over here. I am in, I think, Sled Fix camp here by Point Pleasant. And it's it's kind of cool. I like the the overuse of the Nuka-Cola wallpaper actually works here. And I like how they arrange the uh, masks and things around the posters. Kind of cool. Oh, the tome with the... The ant with the... Uh, Mouthman Nest. That is very nice. I may have to do that for Steven. That's a very nice placement. Uh, the stairs. A little more subdued. Just plain red. For the crafting area. Okay, I guess that's it over there. Do you have a vault? No. Would oh, they kill that Scorch Beast Queen quick? Alright, so I'm gonna check out some, one of these other camps that's nearby. Okay, I think they're AFK. Hopefully, these will stick around for the couple minutes it'll take me to look through them because um, they're probably placed for the Mothman Equinox event. Very high up camp. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's actually pretty. Look. Oh, the butterflies. How did they get that? Okay, I gotta sit on this throne. Just to see the view from up here. Is it gonna let me? I guess it's only from Mothman, but it overlooks the whole town. That's very cool. Hey, babies! The lizard. The pet lizard makes me unreasonably happy. Dang it. Ugh. You know, you wouldn't think so, but I have this much trouble with stairs in real life. Oof. Oh, am I gonna die? Yay! Okay, maybe that kind of counts as a trap, but I'm gonna count it. It's a trap for stupid people. So it's interesting how they got this camp floating. And I want to explore some more, so I'm going to put on my armor so I don't die. Yeah, because what's cool is... what's. I mean, obviously, I can see how high up we are, but there's no obvious way of getting to, right, the next level. I guess it's more a suicide camp than a trap camp, but whatevs. I want to see if I can get all the way out to that Mothman throne. Oh, he's already sitting in it. No wonder I can't. Okay, that's a great view of Point Pleasant. They probably weren't even watching. Wasteland Rover. Oh, no, I still got to check out one more camp. Okay, so, uh, I guess this is camp, and I recorded it a second ago, and I thought I was, but I wasn't. I don't think. I'm not sure. So I'm recording it again, just in case. This is by Melvicious's camp. This is the bunny-headed, um, Civil War dress player. Adelaide. Somebody's been very busy on the scorecard. 
use. And I talked to this player and they were like, it isn't finished yet. But I was like, it's still a pool anyway. I have this bedroom. Check it out. They have a bar in their bedroom. Hell yeah. Only complaint, it's not arm's reach from the bed. Aww. Also, it's adorable that it's, you know, they're sweeties. Clearly, one of these bunnies is B and one is M. That's super sweet. Uh, vanity. But the cool thing about this, the thing that I like especially about this camp is it's a, I don't want to say mishmash because that sounds negative, but I don't mean it in a negative way. It's a mishmash of different styles, like the Victorian and the glass and the fortune teller cart somehow work together and the um blood eagle thing spitting fire is totally perfect for a moth man but it works well i think that works very well together here by the mothman equinox without being just filled with you know i'll just stuff it with cultist stuff and it'll be a mothman camp right Well, I am. I didn't come up here before. Oh, oh, this is super cool. We got their fortune telling space. Come get your fortunes told. Cool. So that is. That is Vimal Vicious's camp, and uh, I'll see you around the wasteland, I hope. Bye!